businesses, nonprofits, and educational institutions have all shared with me that they wish to find more scalable ways to produce routine reports from data they export into spreadsheets. Others share that they use a sheet to centralize resources, but wish they were more dynamic filtering for their users. And other amazing creative spreadsheet gurus that I salute share that they wish to find better ways to automate workflows. If any of these experiences ring true for you, then welcome to the fourth episode of this Working From Home series, where I will share how to save you time in presenting or calculating data in a dynamic manner using Data Studio or Google Sheets. For those of you new to Data Studio, it is a free dashboard with a very beautiful interface that you can customize to represent almost any type of data that you want. You log in with your Google account and select if you would like to connect your dashboard to a sheet, a CSV, a Google product like YouTube, or Google Analytics and ads, or even a third-party tool. It automatically detects your data's sources and you begin to drag and drop tables, charts, filters, and even embed things like videos and images. When you are ready to publish it, you can select who can view it like a Google Doc and share it as a link. You can also schedule a refreshed version of your content to any email aliases of your choice. Now, although spreadsheets are the most familiar interfaces for people to work in, they can become overwhelming as the data grows. And this is why it's nice to be able to filter out the noise in a dashboard. For example, my team and I produce several videos, blogs, and code samples. And to make it easier for people internally, we pasted all this information in a sheet and synced it to a Data Studio report and share it as a link on our team site. We also embedded a Google form as a link so anyone can add more items to the sheet. This ultimately uses Data Studio as a portal of resources. And you can do the same with training content to create an external learning hub. As for people that export very large amounts of data from different sources, if the amount is so large that your sheet moves too slowly, or you can't even import it into a Google Sheet, then it's a great indicator to upload that data into Google's BigQuery database, which has a very large free tier and connects as a data source to Data Studio. This way, searching for data is fast. Data Studio really helps create that beautiful interface over your data, but if you need to add automation to your sheet, for example, you can then leverage functions, machine learning, and scripting in Google Spreadsheets. Let me go through each one briefly, and you can find more information in the description of the video. Sheets has over 500 built-in functions, and three of my favorite ones are Translate, which translates text from one language to another in a cell automatically. The second is Query, which helps you search for specific things in an SQL-like manner. And the third is VLOOKUP, which helps insert data from another sheet's column. A lot of folks also usually make pivot tables to extract information, um, but with built-in ML models, you can actually ask your sheet for things like how many unique email addresses are there to see if the data is clean? Or you can ask what is the most common product sold? And for common actions like removing duplicates, this is a built-in feature. And finally, you can use Google Apps Script, which is a free scripting language based on JavaScript that creates workflows across Google products. And you can build custom interfaces, sidebars, or execute workflows from a spreadsheet on any device. Some of those workflows include sending emails when a status has changed by using a Google Doc as a template, or performing multiple calculations at once, like finding the average customer's lifetime value. And there you have it, two really powerful tools to present data dynamically. If you're interested in learning more about any of the items I mentioned, I have linked several resources in the description of the video. And if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe for future episodes. Cheers. More scalable, more scalable, scalable, scalable.